This graphic novel is dedicated to the lineage lamas from whom the holy teachings have descended and whose blessings obtained by a pure bond of faith and reverence lay the foundation for the enlightenment of all beings. It is also dedicated to the increasing number of aspiring practitioners and to educate potential practitioners with the nature and intent of Gelchen Doji Shukden, whose enlightened mind and qualities have been recognized and relied upon by so many exalted masters, some of them with reincarnation lineages all the way back to Buddha Shakyamuni. Through the ages, out of pure compassion and wisdom, enlightened beings manifest in different forms and different times to benefit the people of that time. Chapter 1. Lost What's the matter? Why are you crying? I'm lost and I can't find my mom. I'm scared. Don't worry. I'm sure your mother is nearby. You're safe here. How do you know? What if she can't find me? I'm left here all by myself. How will I ever go home? You're well protected here, and so everything will be all right. You'll see. What do you mean, protector? Look up. Do you see that statue? Do you know who he is? Oh, what? Who is that? He is the most supreme protector, Dodger Shugden. Protector? Dodger Shugden? What does he protect? Oh, many, many things. But right at this moment, he is protecting you. Me? Yes, most definitely. Dodger Shugden protects all. Among other things, you don't have to worry, boy. I'm Nicholas. Okay, Nicholas. Just wait right here and Dodger Shugden will guide your mother to find you. He can do that? That is the least Dodger Shugden can do for you. Do you want to know his story while we wait for your mother? Uh, okay. Dodger Shugden is not just any protector. He is a powerful Dhamma protector. What's a Dharma protector? Before I explain, do you know who the Buddha is? Of course, I know who Buddha is. Everybody knows Buddha. He was famous for sitting under the tree until he became very smart. Oh, but he was not just sitting under a tree, Nicholas. He was meditating about life and what causes suffering in life. When he found the answer to everything, he became enlightened. And he taught many students in his lifetime and many monasteries were built from his time onwards. Buddha's teachings are so valuable that they last to this day. So it is more than just being smart. Okay, I understand now. Please go on with the story. <laughs> 